Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I've been on the other side of it, you know, so I know it's a tough coverage. You know, it's one of those situations where no matter what you do, um, you know, it's like he's playing with just him in the hoop out there. Um, you know, the skill set for, for his size, um, you know, is second to none. And, you know, it's another example of that tonight. Curious in terms of just being in that environment with him for the first time and how you think that worked out between you and him as far as getting shots up. You scored 36, he scored 37, but how do you like the, the, the rhythm and flow with each other? <clears throat> Yeah, I, mean, I said it when we first made the trade. And, you know, he he's somebody that's a plug-in player. You can put him in any environment, any offense, any set, and you know he's going to be efficient. He's going to make sure other people get open looks, and you know he's going to play the right way. Um, and tonight was another example of that. All we're trying to do is win out there, and you know play the game the right way. You know Dallas was laying off of whoever our fourth or fifth man was, and just giving wide open shots and. You know, Ish came in in the second half and, and made him pay for that. You have seen good. <clears throat> second to last possession, when you went up and uh, DA had the putback. It looked like you looked at Kevin and he like wanted you to take. Yeah. Is that like what you guys have been talking on, just like sort of visual communication? Yeah, I mean, communication is important. Um, you know, I was looking to get him a post up. He told me to take it. Um, you know, so that's the type of communication that you want from your teammate. You know, that gives you ultimate confidence when somebody believes in you, you know, to that magnitude. And, you know, that wasn't the first time in the game that he did that. You know, he kept encouraging me to attack and be aggressive. So they were shrinking on uh, DA a lot. Uh -huh. You're basically just forcing the ball to, like you said, the four and five. It's kind of strange to see Chris just sort of that. Yeah. Like that's the way it's going to be. Like, that's the strategy teams are going to use on you guys. Like, how do you feel? I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'm sure it'll change game to game, but... You know, I think they're, that'll be something that they result back to often. Um, but we have ultimate confidence in everybody. I'm telling Chris to shoot it every time, Ish to shoot it, Josh to keep shooting. You know, he didn't hit many today, but the last two games he made made the teams pay. So, you know, we're going to keep working on it. You know, the more games we play, the more experience, the better. You know, so we can kind of see and gauge how teams are going to be guarding it. On your discussion with Luca, was it something you said to him or something he said to you that kind of got you guys? I'm not here to tattle tell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the uh, cameras picked up what he said to you. So. Yeah, I mean, I was talking to the ref. He said something to me the first, I responded. You know, you guys say you don't want everybody to be friendly, friendly. There you go. We got, you know, we got we got some smoke. Do you think that traces back to the playoffs last year? Yeah, I mean, it's just two competitors going at it. Um, like I just said, you got everybody speaks on, you know, how friendly the NBA is now and and don't like that, and you know I have no problem with Luca um, on or off the court. But you know when we're competing, we're competing. You look at just Ish, and you've seen him work in practice. But how rewarding was it to see him actually translate that to the game, get huge shots tonight? It's it's special, man. It's a it's a role that you know we we congratulate for a reason, and you know it's something that I can't do sit sit a half of a game and then come in in the second half and just be ready to go. So. You know, I have the utmost respect for, you know, guys that are coming off the bench, not knowing when their name's going to be called and still ready to go. Um, you know, so it was an impressive game. Um, but it's just a hard worker, man. I don't I don't expect nothing less than that. Because of that smoke, was it satisfying for you and maybe KD with Kyrie on the other side? Uh, see, you guys are just trying, <laughs> you're just trying to stir the pot, man. I, That's right. I, yeah, I don't have problems with nobody. Yeah, How do you feel? Last one. Uh, Y'all defended uh, Luca tonight. He shot 19 free throws to score 34. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. Um, just trying to keep him off the line. You know, I think we guarded him well from the field. Just you know, those free throw attempts hurt. You know, they slow down the game, and you know, it's a, it's a tough coverage. So, you know, you know, at least we held him low from the field. But you know, those free throw attempts are tough. 19 free throws. That's that's way too many. Thanks, Luke. Yeah, Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it, guys. On your discussion with Luca, was it something you said to him or something he said to you that kind of got you guys? I'm not here to tattle tell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the uh, cameras picked up what he said to you. Yeah, I mean, I was talking to the ref. He said something to me the first, I responded. You know, you guys say you don't want everybody to be friendly, friendly. There you go. We got, you know, we got, we got some smoke. Do you think that traces back to the playoffs last year? Yeah, I mean, it's just two competitors going at it. Um, 
like I just said, you got everybody speaks on you know how friendly the NBA is now and and don't like that. And you know I have no problem with Luca um, on or off the court. But you know when we're competing, we're competing.